Welcome to Countdown to New Me. My name is Bree, and I want to thank you so much for checking out my very first video. If you haven't already, please feel free to go over to my Facebook page, which is also Countdown to New Me, and click the like button so that we can stay connected and you can be kept aware of when I post new videos and blogs and little posts and inspirational things like affirmations, etc. Now, why the hell did I decide to start uh, Countdown to New Me? This has definitely been a, something that has been evolving under the surface and I just didn't know it until it just, you know, like, like a light bulb went off in my head and it just came to me. Um, some of you know me, and you know that I have a few different uh, other ventures that I'm working on, such as a health and wellness page, which is also on Facebook. But this is different, because what I intend to do here is develop myself. And by develop, I mean take myself from point A to point B uh, between now and the age, between now where I'm 37 years old, I'll be 38 this year, and uh, to the age of 40. And what I'd like to see happen is a dynamic shift, a, dy a dynamic change in who I am now, this Brie, to future Brie. So let's see, um, what things do some of you guys know about me? Well, again, you know that my name is Brie, Brie Mitchell. Again, I'm 37 years old. I am obviously a African-American female. Um, I work a nine to five for a huge uh, corporation. I am a mother to one child. She's 10 years old. Uh, I'm a single parent. Uh, I'm pretty quirky. I like to laugh. I'm pretty introverted at times, um, but I'm very business minded. I'm heavily into health and wellness. I'm into natural hair. I have such pride um, in myself. And um, it shows in the way that I hold myself, the way that I wear my hair, and just just the person ultimately that I ended up becoming between now and again, 37 years old. I enjoy reading. I enjoy making little things. Um, I can be pretty crafty at times. And um, I just enjoy the, the, the low-key life for the most part, just hanging out, spending time with friends, uh, you know, things like that, going to movies. Uh, I enjoy learning a ton, so you'll always, almost always catch me reading something. Uh, right now, actually, on my Kindle, I am reading two books. One is um, The Well-Spoken Woman by Christine, I think it's Janke, J-A-H-N-K-E. And in that book, it talks about, um, she's actually a, like a, a top-rated speech coach, and she helps you to learn how to carry yourself, how to hold yourself, how to assert yourself with confidence and to overcome like speaking anxiety and things like that. And then I'm also reading a book by um, a woman named Valerie Burton. And that book is called Why Not You? And basically this is a book that it's a 28 day I guess step process so you read a chapter every day and she gives you a task to work on and it's basically helping you to identify what things are hindering you from having self-confidence and hindering you from being yourself your best self um, what's what's zapping your confidence and how to increase it and how to face your fears and just be the most confident not that fake type of confidence that a lot of people including myself um, portray on a day-to-day -day basis, but to have real, genuine self-confidence that will help you move along in life, and you're just ready at every opportunity, whether it's you need to speak publicly, um, or you're dealing with personal issues, just knowing how to assert yourself with confidence. Um, these are books I just started reading today, so I will definitely come back when I'm done. Fire truck. Of course. Uh, I will definitely come back over the next few weeks and update you on what I thought about those two books. And I'll be reviewing books from time to time also on this, um, while I'm on this journey. So, those are some things that you, if you know me, you know about me, more or less. Now, some things that you probably don't know because I'm a pretty, I'm a private person, but I'm not. I'll let you, 
I don't tell everyone everything. And that's what's kind of scary about what I'm deciding to do here, which is, in a sense, documenting my life for the next few years. The good and the bad, the pretty and the ugly. I'm going to lay it, out, lay it all out on the table for you and show you, again, how I'm going from point A to point B. And I'm going to tell you what my goals are in a few moments. But um, a few things that you probably don't know about me that have helped, I don't know if I should say helped, but that have shaped me to be the person that I am today um, like I said, I'm going to share the good and the bad and the ugly, so you know a lot of the good. The bad would be, um, you know, for example, I have, uh, I, I, when I was young, uh, I don't have a relationship with my dad. I was abandoned by him, I, I guess, if you want to call it that, um, at a young age. I'm not even sure how old I was when uh, he kind of moved out of town or, or moved to another state, and I was with my mom. Um, what else? I come from of course then a broken home and my mom did the very best that she could but it's tough for a single parent to raise a child but alone too so it's my brother and I I'm the I'm the oldest of, of two um, so I have that background I have um, huge anxieties um, a lot of people don't know that I have huge anxieties where for example um, I'm sorry I have huge anxieties just I did not think the waterworks were gonna come like this this is nuts but I have huge anxieties including just the, the stupidest things that I don't really stress about anymore but they're still just kinda of there under the surface dumb things that people don't even think about every day that have just been building since I was a kid um, some of you may or may not know that Sorry. <sighs> Some of you may or may not know that as a kid, I was molested probably around the age of, um, guessing maybe nine or ten years old and that stuck with me for a very long time um, I've dealt with things like depression um, not as of late but I've dealt with things like depression um, when I was younger and just being afraid to talk to my mom about things to the point where I remember one time I was like in the 10th grade maybe and I was walking home from school and I had gotten a bad grade on a math test. I remember it so well. I, I can't remember what type of math it was. Whichever type of math you use, the pro I think it's called a protractor. It has that sharp skinny pole and you can make circles with it. That should tell you that I'm not a math major, right? Anyway, so I'm walking home and I have this thought that I got a bad grade, my mom's gonna be livid. She's gonna be so disappointed, she's gonna be angry, you know. I should just go ahead and just end it all now. I should just kill myself. I should slit my wrist so I don't have to explain to her why I got this bad math score. <laughs> I mean, who does that? Who does that? So. You know, there have been a few times in my life that I have considered killing myself. Um, you may not know that at one point I was damn near close to 200 pounds. Um, you may not know that I have, again, again, like that anxiety and just fear of common things, which I was trying to explain before, like fear of water. My mom used to wash my hair when I was a kid, and I was just so... I don't even want to say damaged, but just so afraid of different things. Like, I would be paralyzed with fear at the simplest things. So, just to get my hair washed was a very traumatic experience for me. Um, you know, 
but those are some things that you probably did not know about me and I promised myself that I was gonna go all out with this so like I said the good with the bad now that I've gotten that out of the way I feel like I can breathe I feel like I just told someone like some of my deepest and darkest secrets you know what I mean so anyway back to my back to my journey so I am all about change and shifting my life I have told people a million times in a different way in many different ways that I know that I was not put here to live a life of mediocrity I know that I was put here to use my mouth because you know I can talk honey I can talk so much um, I know I was put here to do something special and I honestly think that I was put here to motivate others to live their very best life now am I living my very best life right now I can't say that I am but I am pushing for that every single day it's like I woke up one day and said I had had enough of, of some of, the, uh, some of the things that I have been doing in life, some of the things that I've encountered in life. Um, I want more and I want different. And I want to show my daughter that I that she too can be her very best and get it, attain anything that she wants, do anything that she wants, be anything that she wants, because I'm going to show her that it can be done. So that's why I said between now and the age of 40, which gives me two years, I have several goals in place. And those goals are going to be documented on this blog slash my Facebook, etc. So again, you're going to get the good with the bad as I go through life and try to figure out the best way to 